All right, now we need to set the uh, pressure regulator. So this is regulated at a half psi. To give you a little hint about these inline pressure regulators. Um, if you have the end of it plugged in and it's blocked, this is going to go up to full pressure. And as soon as you plug this in, you're going to get full pressure inside of the um, the apparatus. And this gauge only goes up to 15 psi. So I don't want to blow it out. So before I hook my shop air to this regulator, I'm going to take this regulator and plug it up just to give that air somewhere to go. And then I'm going to plug in my shop air. You can, uh, you can hear it going through the can there. You can see on my regulator gauge here, it's reading right at zero, so there's not enough resolution to know if I'm making half a PSI or not. On this gauge, uh, the way I have it set right now is it's right at one, so I want to dial that down. And that's a half PSI right there, but what I want to know is if I plug the end of this, that's bad. So as you can see, once I plug the end of this, the PSI shot way up. So what I need to do is plug the end of this tube here. And you can see my shop air regulator is set too high um, to where the, the knob on this isn't fine enough to dial that down. So I'm going to adjust my shop air down. Shop air is regulated down. So with this thing plugged up, I'm kind of fiddling with the knob on my secondary regulator. And keep going till I get. It's pretty good right there. Building pressure up to about a half PSI. You can see how the needle's moving slowly. Slowly up equalizes at about one PS, uh, half a half a PSI. That's what I want right there. Since this is a gross leak, I'm going to regulate this up at about 1 PSI here. Right to there. Now the other thing is when I'm, when I'm blocking this off, let's look at the paint can. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera, but I'm blocking it off, and the top of this paint can is coming up like there's pressure underneath it. And you can see you know, right there, watch the shiny spot. You can see the shiny spot move as the lid is flexing. So you really don't want to put a whole lot of pressure in these cans or you're going to blow the top off. So I almost didn't put this in because I know it's a lot of just watching the gauge and it's boring. But uh, I think it's necessary to show the adjustment process on this. So next we'll uh, hook it up and make some smoke. All right. It's uh, hooked up and smoking. You can, depending on how the light is, see it. The pure mineral oil makes a very light, wispy smoke. Just got it hooked up to my uh, lawnmower battery here. Got the air compressor hooked up to it. And uh, my knob turned on about. 75% there. It takes about 30 seconds to start getting smoke. So you have smoke coming out of my positive binding post there. You reseal that. I guess that's so that sh <laughs> that shows what this thing's all about, right? This binding post is leaking, and that's what you'll see when you're leak testing. So I guess I need to leak. 
test my leak tester. <laughs> 